three vehicles were traveling together. They were looking for a friend's house and mistakenly drove up, uh, in this case, uh, Mr. Monahan's uh, driveway. And uh, as they found, as they determined that they were at the wrong uh, residence, they turned around and in the process of turning around, the victim's uh, vehicle was the last one to turn around. Uh, Mr. Monahan decided to come outside and fire two shots, uh, one of which struck the vehicle and ultimately struck uh, Kaylin. Struck and killed Kaylin Gillis. She was the 20-year-old who was shot to death, as the local New York sheriff described. The homeowner who fired on the vehicles has been identified as 65-year-old Kevin Monahan. Monahan is in jail and has been charged with second-degree murder. Neighbors say he had a short fuse and was something of a narcissist. However, Monahan's lawyer has issued a statement that is controversial, to say the least. Fox News read it on the air. Watch. The situation certainly caused some level of alarm to an elderly gentleman who had an elderly wife. Is that a fear-inducing scenario? Well, maybe it is. Their sheriff's basically acting as judge, jury, and executioner. Sometimes there are just tragedies and victims, and there are no villains, and this is one of those times. There are no villains. This is just one of those times, said the lawyer. Well, I get the desire of any lawyer to vigorously defend their client. However, Mr. Monahan was not elderly with an elderly wife, as the lawyer claimed. Monahan is 65 years old. I think most people would describe elderly as a bit older than that. More importantly, to flat out say there are no villains in this case is absurd. It was Mr. Monahan who chose to fire his gun twice at the vehicles after they were already turning around and leaving. Nobody in those lost cars had gotten out or approached Mr. Monahan's house. Nobody was threatening the homeowner. Now, I suppose it's possible Mr. Monahan was mad at the disruption outside and merely wanted to scare off the vehicles. And it's hard to imagine he intended to kill somebody. Still, by firing a weapon, he acted recklessly and caused a young woman to lose her life. The sheriff put a finer point on it when he noted that New York does not have stand your ground laws like other states and that the defense argument about there not being any villains is probably not going to fly. So the, the fact that the vehicles were leaving, I think, is a key point in this case. You know, these were young adults that were looking for a friend's house and, and determined they were in the wrong driveway, uh, were turned around and, and had, uh, were leaving. And in fact, uh, we don't have any information uh, that would suggest that they even exited their vehicles or rang the doorbell, for instance, or you know, banged on a door or created any kind of alarm for Mr. Monahan. Uh, other than sitting in his driveway, trying to get GPS service, trying to get cell service, and then uh, determining that they're in the wrong place and turning around. Again, they were turning around and leaving, yet a gun-owning homeowner with a short fuse reportedly decided to fire shots at them anyway. Dictionaries describe a villain as a character in a plot whose actions cause something bad. That description of a villain fits Kevin Monaghan, whether his defense attorney wants to accept it or not. Now, in my view, there's another villain in all of this, and that is America's gun-owning and media-manipulating culture. There are more firearms than people in the United States, and when you combine that with countless conservative news platforms and channels that spew endless reasons to be angry at and fearful of others in our society, there are going to be people who go to their front porch when strange vehicles are in the driveway and immediately assume the worst, because expecting the worst from immigrants, minorities, young people, strange cars, that's what countless media consumers have been fed constantly. We live in an era when instead of trusting our neighbors and fellow citizens and allowing mistakes like a turn into the wrong driveway, we've been told on an endless loop to be very afraid and that the only way we can respond is through weapons and violence and the Second Amendment. How sad. And unfortunately, there will be more innocent victims like Kaylin Gillis, a bright and friendly 20-year-old who had her whole life in front of her until it was snatched away in an instant. This is America 2023. By the way, one vile and shameless representative of our act-before-you-think culture these days is Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene. She is in some political trouble again in the Republican House, but again, this time it's with her own party. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.